You know what? That that's a big hole. So not too big. What is it like? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. That, that's an okay number. Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the next episode. And uh, here we have our next project. I'll admit, it's not, you know, not very um, flashy or shiny or anything else, but I believe it will get the work done. So I'm planning on building as many block farms as I can. This will be one of them. And this will be the most important one because, okay, mini quiz time. What's the mineral that you need, not the mineral, the ore, or the material that you need the most in Minecraft. Like for farm-wise, for anything that you, you know, want to farm. Iron, that's right. And uh, we have a specific situation here today. This will be the end of the iron farm, the place where golems turn into iron ingots and poppies. And uh, we have that village there which I will not use. That's off limits. My villagers in, in the base there, also off limits. So what will we do? Well, this will be a long one to record. This will be a long one. Because I want to capture zombie villagers here, on this island, by fighting mobs each and every evening, and then convert them into normal villagers, and then put them into the iron farm. The iron farm design will be the one that uh, Vatals has and has done and uh, props to him, one of the best iron farms I ever used. Logical to build, easy to build, no flaws whatever. It will be a bit of a different design because I'm pulling it all the way up into the sky. It will be there somewhere and uh, it will have its spawn rates increased because uh, the iron golems will almost immediately be dropped down and removed from the villagers radius and that's how it works if the villagers cannot detect the golem they will start producing a new one so yeah that's uh, that's the main idea the longest bit here will be the obtaining the villagers or the zombie villagers that we will heal afterwards and the second one will be fighting the mobs themselves. I present to you the Divine Retributor. Retributor. I, I don't know, English is not my main language, okay? But this thing will help us fight the mobs. Secondly, I want to see golems move. And I need, I need sand. I need sand. So first things first, I'm gonna go and grab some sand and then will start our hunt for the zombie villagers just to include them in this farm because that's how i decided to do all right let's get on with it well to be honest it doesn't look that bad right but you know what's important we got all the sand check this out all right i'm gonna go back smell this up and we can start Procuring the villagers, I guess, and building. I'll see you in a bit. Um, night number one. Update. I have an arrow in my head. But, yeah, no no villagers. We did get a bunch of stuff. Because we had zombies, we had everything except for zombie villagers. Stay tuned. There it is. There it is. First. First of many. Nice. Okay. Let's get him under. Come on. Come on, guy. Good. Okay. First one. Secured. It was a rough night, guys. And we got number two. I'm just updating. So this is night number four, I believe. Not 100% sure, but it's still dicey, as you can see. Soon. We need only one more. And it's raining. Alright, I'll catch you in a bit.
All right, so it's been it's been six or seven nights. I'm not sure even anymore, and no more zombie spawned, which is really curious because I I was sure we're gonna get another one. We got these two like in a span of a few nights, uh, but no. So um, let's uh, you know what we'll work with what we have. All right, let's hit it. Let's get you. Let's get you, sir. All right. Now we just need to let them cook, and they should be done in I don't know five minutes, I guess. Now back to this bit over here. I'll just place one chest as a placeholder here. Uh, yeah, like uh, let's break this. We'll just place it here for now and we'll go with the hopper actually you know what to save on hoppers you can always place your chests in line with the farm wall right and then replace this with glass which we will do and now let's uh, let's get the hoppers in I'll just do a little bit of a stairs here, like that. And maybe we need some glass immediately. But the idea here is to place trapdoors all over the place and then pour lava on top of the trapdoors. That that way trapdoors don't burn and your lava will be just high enough to not burn any, any iron that's dropped or anything like that. That, okay, and now we'll just break this up like that. Uh, we will close this off and let's see how it looks. We, you, you might die here if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah, you see that lava spreads all over the place like that. Right, so that's that's it. That's this bit done. Let me just close off the whole killing chamber. And if you look here, you can see that lava is held back by the trapdoors, and you can easily get any drops that you that you get inside of this chest without lava popping down. So we can freely just break down these here and replace them with some glass which we will do so yeah let me let me just place the hoppers back because we don't need them anymore get some glass and we'll be back and some beds we need beds for the for the boys there we they got some they got some let's get more in why is this not falling in Oh, 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 oh. Are we getting a little Savannah man? man? What a river man. Come on, come on. Nice! We got a little river man. Hello. How will we call we'll call you Rodney, I think. Alright, so uh this is the beginning of it. So we'll start with the soul sand on top of that moss pillar. And uh, this will be the place where we hold our zombie, right? So I'll, I'm going to do something a bit strange here. I'm, I'm going to test out some blocks and see if they work. So what I want to do is uh, just add a couple of these like that. 
and then drop these down we'll see if this works I, i'm not sure and then we'll just build back up add our soul sand block in and continue building from here so how this farm works is uh, we'll have a villager there villager there a villager there and the zombies will, uh, the iron golems will spawn up here slide down and go into the unhappy hole there so yeah let me let me continue building this and uh, i'll i'll bring you back once i have the you know the skeleton in and we can start moving the villagers and the zombie in and see how you know how that goes see you in a bit yeah we, we'll have to curve here so we'll need to go something like this Uh, you need those two blocks when you do rails because otherwise the rail will just break so we need the same thing here yeah we'll, we'll just do it like this so how this looks this looks amazing so here we have the zombie hole in the middle we have cells on the sides here and we have jack-o-lanterns to light up the cells we have two one over here below this stone one over here and now we'll just uh, add the beds inside get the villagers transported here let's we'll just block this off so they don't fall out uh, just give it there perfect we'll get them in get them to go into bed when the night comes and uh, then we'll get the zombie in and that should be almost done. A few moments later. All right, live from the island. He, here's our zombie. He's holding a moss block. I did close off the guys up there. So now we just need to make sure that this guy follows us all the way up. I'll just let's just do this very very carefully. High stakes, high stakes. Come on, guy. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. And now, I need to break this and climb two blocks up. And hopefully, he'll fall in. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 almost, almost. We need to try and lock him in. Nice. There we go. There's our guy. He's inside now. So we can close him up like that. And uh, this is the farm almost done. Get our bucket up. Like that. And get this thing watered in. And there you go. They'll just whoop, fall down and get further in the processing cycle now next thing we do is uh process we need to make a tunnel that leads to the processing factory right let's drop here break this thing i put the wall a wall of glass here and i'll pull it down just because i don't want our uh, iron golem to hit the zombie that's right there inside you can hear him growling so yeah, let me let me build out this little little processing bit, and uh, I'll get back to you in a sec. It's that time of the year, boys. Our farm should be ready to go now, and we need to remove the mosses. So let's uh, head up. Let's see if I can do this on camera, or I need to I need to build a wall to do it. So we need to land somehow on this bit okay good great okay and now we need to make like a little path that will allow us to get those moss blocks so theoretically the best way to do it would be like this just go here get this block out just, just this one and we should be able to break that thing technically if we break this block we should be able to get the rest of them. 
Yep, that's it. Okay, we forgot the bit of water here, but that's easily fixable. Okay, that's a weird water glitch, but never mind. I think that worked. Let's go down and open the, the gates of the happy fun room for our golem. That fell down. Alright. Let's see. Here you go, my boy. Do you want to fall, fall in, buddy? Maybe? You wanna... Let's try and nudge him in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want it. You know you want to. All right. And there's another one. So we have two already. In that short amount of time that we have the farm working. I'll call this a success. Let's see. We'll just move back and see how it works. They are scared a little bit, they are. And every like 20 or 30 seconds we should... Yep, there's a golem. There he comes. And... Boom. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Let me just mark this off so we don't fall in. Like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's our barn farm. <laughs> that's done. Now we need to we need to just uh, make sure that we have enough storage downstairs and maybe automate the storage and whatnot. Like get the poppies to automatically, uh, you know, compost and stuff. And yeah, there we go. There's another guy. Let me take a. There we go. I think that will be our thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for uh, for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, if uh, if you want, please consider subscribing, liking the video because likes help a lot. Subscribes will keep you in the loop if you want more of this content. And I'll see you later. Have a good one, everyone. Have an amazing day. Augustus out. <laughs>